Hi guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can perform custom image classification with the help of YOLO 11. So in my YouTube channel, I already created tutorial related uh, YOLO 11. Like I showed you how we can perform object detection image segmentation. And there I told you how we can perform uh, image classification task. That video I will also create. So let's try to see how we can perform the image classification with the help of YOLO 11. So for this guys, what I have done, I have uh, created one amazing notebook. So in this notebook, actually I have uh, prepared all the code you need uh, to perform this custom training. So first of all, let me open the YOLO uh, 11 GitHub. So this is the YOLO 11 GitHub guys, and this is from Alternatics. So they published this amazing model and you can see uh, they have also given the model view. So it is having different different model view. So we already covered the detection segmentation now. Today we'll be covering the classification and these are the classification model. Okay. And this is the notebook and to use the alternatives. First of all, you have to install the alternatives package. So let me first of all, install this package. So make sure you connect this notebook uh, with your GPU. So you will get free GPU if you're using free collab. So T4 GPU you can get and try to save and try to install this alternatives package and all the resources would be given in the description from there. You can download and you can uh, execute with me. So guys, as you can see, uh, I have successfully installed this alternatives. Now the next thing uh, you need to get the data classification data. So for me, I already prepared the data. Let me show you how your data will look like. So here I collected uh, actually data related chicken fecal. Okay, so you can see. So this is the data related chicken disease. Okay, so chicken is having different different kinds of disease. So one of the disease actually will uh, see chicken will be affected by uh, coccidiosis. Okay, so this is the disease guys. So let me show you this disease. If you search this coccidiosis in Google. So this is one of the disease. Okay, uh, affected by chicken. See, okay, now we'll just try to classify uh, this particular disease with the help of uh, chicken fecal. So that's why I've collected some chicken fecal image. So let me show you. So this is the coccidiosis affected chicken fecal. So here is the fecal image guys. Okay. So it, uh, you can see it is uh, kinds of yellow. Okay. Yellow color. So this is the coccidiosis affected chicken fecal. Now there is another folder I'm having called healthy. Okay. So, and this is the healthy fecal. Okay. You can see it's a uh, black and white kinds of fecal. So this is the healthy fecal. Okay. So with the help of this particular image, we can classify whether this uh, chicken has been affected by coccidiosis disease or this chicken is healthy. Okay. Now this is the data format guys. You can see. So this is my main folder called chicken fecal image. Inside that I'm having two folder called training and validation. If I open the training inside that you will see I'm having two level. One is the coccidiosis. Okay. Another is the healthy. Now, if you have multiple level, what you can do, you can create another folder. Okay. With the help of that name and inside that you can keep the image. Okay. So you can see inside this folder, I'm having some of the image around 200 images. Actually, I kept for the healthy also. I kept around 200 image. Make sure your data should be labeled. Okay. Let's say you are keeping 100 images in the coccidiosis and 50 images in the healthy. So your data would be imbalanced. So make sure always keep your data balanced. Okay. So if you are taking 200 images, also try to keep in the other level 200 images. Okay. That's how we can uh, balance your data. Now inside validation folder also, I created this two folder called coccidiosis and healthy. Inside that I kept the co coccidiosis uh, image and Inside healthy, I kept the healthy image. Okay. That's how if you have multiple folder, multiple level, you can create the multiple level and you can keep your data. And now you can ask me why I will get this kinds of data. No need to worry. There is an one amazing website. Uh, you can refer called RoboFlow. Okay. So RoboFlow is a complete computer vision actually platform. So here you can uh, get any kinds of tools and technology related computer vision. So in my YouTube channel, I already covered uh, lots of tutorial related RoboFlow, like how we can use RoboFlow platform to annotate our data how we can get the different different kinds of data set, how we can use the supervision. Okay, see so it is also having different different products like it is also having supervision. Okay, then auto annotation, everything I already covered in my YouTube channel, you can also check them. So I will use one product called universe. Okay, let me open the universe. So inside this universe, all kinds of data are available Only you just need to come here and you need to class, uh, you need to select what kinds of tasks you want to perform. Let's say I want to perform classification. You can filter out with the help of classification. You can even search here. Okay, let's say I need this particular image. You can also search here. Let's say I need chicken disease. Okay, so what I will do, I'll search by chicken disease. So see guys, if you search chicken disease, you will get different different kinds of chicken disease kinds of image. Okay, now you can directly download these are the image. So if you want to download, let's say I want to download this image. I'll just click here. Now there is a option you will get called download project. Just click on the download project. Then you will see this option called download data set. Just try to click here. And you need to select the folder structure format. Okay. Because it's a classification. So here you don't need to uh, select any kinds of other format. Okay. Try to select the folder structure because if you see the uh, classification level, 
the label would be folder structure so you have to uh, write the label name inside the folder you can see this is the folder coccidiosis and healthy your model will automatically get this name from here okay so that's why we always need to follow the folder structure whenever we are doing the classification task and for object detection segmentation i think i already covered okay how to prepare the data and how to format the data now simply just click on um, continue after selecting the zip downloader you can also directly download from the code but i will try to zip, uh, zip and download so guys after downloading it you just need to unzip the folder and after unzipping you can see you will get similar kinds of folder but here you don't need the test one you can delete the test one so i deleted the test one and i kept only the train and validation okay so this is my folder structure okay now i think you got it how to get the data okay now how to perform the training for this uh, what you can do you can upload this data in your google Chrome. for this just try to make a zip, uh, zip file of this folder uh, either you can directly download from the RoboFlow also it's completely fine now this zip file you just need to upload uh, inside the google collab so let me upload here so this is my image i'll just try to upload here so guys you can see it has uploaded successfully now first of all i have to unzip this uh, folder so for this you can execute this line of code just copy the path and try to mention the path of your zip file okay now if i unzip so it will unzip your data and it will give you uh, this one so let me show you so this is the folder inside that you are having the training image as well as the validation image okay so now finally i'm going to prepare uh, my training code and if you're using uh, yolo 11 with the help of alternatives it's like very easy to do so only just need to import yolo from alternatives after that you just need to give the model which model actually you want to use as a pretend model and you can see here we are having different different kinds of model n model s model m model and i already told you what is n model s model and m model n means nano smallest medium large x large okay now i'm going to use this model and nano model so here i'm given the model id okay now simply you just need to give the data location so this is my data location guys you just need to provide the folder path it will automatically load the data number of epoch you want to train i want to train only 20 epoch and you'll see that after uh, training 20 work this model will perform amazing okay it will uh, achieve actually 100 percent accuracy okay so uh, it's amazing model guys they have created now this is the image size that means the, during the training they used a 640 dimensional image so that's why i've given the size now see if i execute so first of all it will uh, download the model from the internet then it will load the data okay after that it will start the training so guys as you can see my training has started and it has created one runs folder inside runs actually it will save all the artifact like your weights your all the matrices everything it will save so this training will take some time so i will pause the video once training is completed then i will come back so guys as you can see my training has completed and uh, this is the accuracy score you got top accuracy one that means 100 percent accuracy you got so in this case actually what you can do you can decrease the epoch size i trained uh, 20 epoch you can also train 10 epochs in the 10 epochs also you can get the best accuracy here so now if you see in the runs folder it has created uh, some of the folder let me show you just let me refresh so it has created one classify folder inside that train and weights okay this is your weights that are model actually you have trained and these are the uh, evolution matrices so let's plot uh, some matrices and let me show you the model performance for this i'm going to use this image function from the display and see this is the result.png inside that i'm having one result.png so this is what i want to show you so result.png this one okay just copy the path and mention it here and now if i execute you'll see that this is the performance of your model so this is the time uh this is the matrix you see uh you got actually 100 percent accuracy this is the loss and this is the loss as per your uh, epoxy is increasing loss is also decreasing and this is the accuracy that means your uh epoch is increasing accuracy is also increasing okay that means model uh, is landing better now let's do the inference so i'll load my train model so the model actually i have trained which is available inside here inside weight folder copy the path and try to mention it here now here i'll give some testing image to test okay whether it's working fine or not so previously i already executed let me again show you so i will upload some coccidiosis affected fecal then i will also upload some healthy fecal You can also directly upload the folder and you can give the folder location it will load all the image and it will do the inference but here i will show you the individual image okay so first of all let me show you the coccidiosis affected i'll copy the path and give the image path here now see if i execute the code it will load the model and it will load the image now see coccidiosis 100 percent that is 
that means this image has been classified with the coccidiosis affected you can see healthy 0.0 okay so that's how it is uh, classifying and it's amazing you can see 100 percent confidence your model it's a coccidiosis affected image now see if i refresh you can't see the image has been saved okay and if you want to get the image what you can do you can give this parameter save is equal to true here i also commented and let me show you here you can also give the confidence code like if your model is 50 percent confidence uh, this image is a uh, coccidiosis affected that time it will show you okay so you can also play with the confidence code so here let me give you another image so let's say i will give this healthy image and now if i execute you'll see that it will show you even it will also save inside the folder if you want see this is the healthy image one uh one that means 100 percent confidence the healthy image coccidiosis is 0, 0.0 now if i refresh inside classify see it has created one predict folder inside predict you will see this image has been saved okay now if you want to also plot the results like what is inside results you can also see that okay you'll see the complete uh like label as well as the um uh, array okay numpy array of the uh, predicted image so yes guys that's how we can perform the custom uh image classification with the help of yellow 11 and now we can pick up any kinds of data set and you can do the classification on top of it so yes guys this is all uh from this video i hope you liked it and if you liked it guys so please try to share this video with your friends and family with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time